Scott, you took a little bit uh, longer than usual to come out. What was the post win celebration like? Yeah, it was the first uh, first game all year. I had a white claw. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to enjoy it. Uh, no, I, hey, this is, this is a good feeling. I had, we had some things. Uh, I wanted the players to enjoy it. We fought, we fought hard and, you know, we had nothing right going for us. Nothing, not zero, nothing going for us in that first quarter, other than we're just going to keep competing. We've done it all year. The, the basketball gods gave us a, gave us a break uh, tonight, but it was a lot of big performances, a lot of great effort. And we still, we still haven't made some of the shots that we will make, and we still scored 100 and something points, 40 something points. But yeah, we just wanted to enjoy the win, and everybody fought hard, and we stuck together. And I thought Ish, Ish and Mo came and turned the game around. They just absolutely came and turned the game around. So that just tells you right there, you just you just do the right things and and be patient, and when your time comes, make an impact. And he made it. They both made an impact tonight. You talked over the weekend about how important it was for your guys just to see Russ out there practicing. How important was it tonight that it was it was Brad and Russ kind of down the stretch in control? Yeah, I mean, it was big. They made big plays after big plays. Um, Russell willed, willed this game. I mean, he this is what he does, and he can do it. He can do it uh, every night. He doesn't take nights off. He doesn't shoot the ball well every night. But he doesn't take he doesn't take nights off. He plays hard and lays on the floor. He competes and lets everything on the floor. And and but Brad and Russell, they got to keep leading us. And they got to keep leading us. And you know we got just one game at a time. And we got to just focus on the next one. But like I told him the other day before the last game, there's a lot of teams that have the same amount of losses we have, and we still got 50, you know, six games to go. We got a lot of basketball to go. And like I said, the last two games now, we need games. And we, we're going to get what we need, and we're going to get what we ask for. And we got 16 games in the next 28 days, and I can't wait for all 16 of them. Fred? Scott, you trying to get that White Claw endorsement? Is that the move here? Yeah, right. Um, is, is Russell's energy when he plays like that, uh, what does that do to the rest of the team? Yeah, I don't like Mangle, by the way. Um, Red raspberry is good. Um, Russell, Russell, I mean, a guy I've seen it for a lot of years in his, in his younger years. Um, difference now and then is that he's, he's a lot more patient. And I know some of you guys uh, are surprised by that, but he is a lot more patient than he was. Uh, he plays hard, man. He plays hard. You don't, Nobody ever says, man, I wish Russell would play harder. You know, does he need to not take, you know, seven uh, tough shots? But a, lot of the, a lot of the best players in the league take, you know, five to seven a game. And he, he's, he's, a, he's a player, man. He's a gamer. He's a winner. He's a winner. We're not winning right now. Brad and, and Russell, they're winners. And they're going to keep leading our, our young players and our group. And we're going to do it together and it's not always going to be pretty. And, you know, I just like that fact that we got everybody back and we're going to play and we're going to keep competing. This game could have gone the other way just as easily as it gone our way early on. They made big shots. You know, our, some of our shooters had great looks. Their shooters made some of their shots. And, you know, we, we're going to start making some of those shots. DB is a shot maker. Rui's going to play better. Garrison comes in and makes shots. And I just, Russell's a winner. Scott, when you say patience, do you, do you mean his patience in terms of his on court makeup, or do you mean, in, are you relating to kind of him working his way back from the injury? Yeah, I mean, working his way back, you know, there's, and I've seen a few injuries that he's had that we've had, we've had some really tough moments where we were on a, on our way to do something great. And then we had an injury. So I've seen him. I've seen them at some tough times and we both, and it's hard. It's hard when we see our players that way and feel that way, but he would do something. I've never seen it ever before, ever before. He would come back from an injury and be ready to go the next day and, and play high minutes and attack the basket. Like it's his enemy. And he doesn't, he didn't do that this time, which I'm glad because he is an old man now, 
that you know he needs to be he needs to be smarter in his in his um in his rehab i thought but i thought that our our, our guys have done a good job you see the difference the last three games that's not nothing like he was playing the first you know x a number of games because he feels yeah. better this is how he plays he is he's an attack player he puts extreme heat on the opposing team and their coaches and that's how that's how we're going to continue to build our team and Brad is the you know the level one of uh, on the uh, of the two, but he's but they both they both fill off of each other, and they're going to help help our team grow and and get us better. And we're going to a lot of games left to keep getting us better. Home, uh, Scott, that finish uh, eight points in eight seconds um, was all that was missing was Reggie Miller and Spike Lee. I mean, where does this finish? <laughs> right, this was the craziest game one of the crazy if not the craziest game i've ever been around just crazy i mean nothing i mean look what happened to the start of us i mean we could not we couldn't stop them at all i mean those guys are high level players and they're missing another they're one of their elite threes was not playing and it's it's i mean to the for us to come back to cut it to i think 10 that was a that was almost a win in itself um, but we fought, we battled, we clawed, and we gave ourselves a chance. And hopefully this is the start of something that we're going to be pretty proud of once we get through all what we've been through and look forward to, like I said, I'm looking forward to the next 16 games, one game at a time. Just, just the way you drew it up at the end, right? Exactly. I know. We, it's one thing about our guys. They sure know how to execute last second shots. <laughs> Thanks, Scott. Thanks. Yeah. Hey. Scott, did that feel like the way you all played last year? Yeah, I, I mean, we played. Yeah, this was just, I mean, yeah, last year we didn't really know what we were doing. We were just out there playing hard and having fun and flying around. And and Brad was leading leading us by ourselves. And we had to start this year with, you know, Brad and Russell. And we, we've had like, I don't know, seven or eight close tight games that could have flip-flopped either way unfortunately they they all but one came to our way uh, but it was it's just good to having our guys back I keep I'm not using that as an excuse that's just that's how I feel I feel good I feel good knowing that we have a chance to really win games and we played against a, one of the best teams in the east I know James that Harden did not play but they still they scored a bunch of points the last game without Kevin they scored a bunch of points the last game or tonight's game without James this team is high level but the way we played it, it's, I know it's one game. We got to just go back in and do it again against Portland. Matt Paris. Hey Scott. Uh, in terms of Russell's health coming back, just how do you notice how, on the defensive end and how he's able to kind of fly around out there? Like, are you seeing that return of energy from him as well on that side of the floor? Yeah, he's the he's the best. He's the best rebounding guard in the history of the game. And that's that's hard to say you're the best at something in the history of the game, but he's the best rebounding guard. I mean, he's every night, I mean, three years in a row, he averaged a triple double. And I mean, that's 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 incredible. And that doesn't get enough attention, but he does it every night. He does it every night. He he lay he gives you gives you your all. Like I said, he's not gonna he's not he's not a great shooter but he's a great player that can make shots and he puts so much pressure on getting getting to the bucket getting to the free throw line and he creates so many easy shots for our guys and you know we he he averages you know whatever 10 assists a game and when we start making making threes for him it's going to be up to 12 to 14 a game last question from max Thank you. Um, Coach, you mentioned Mo already. Could you please speak a little more about what you liked, about what he did today? Well, he, he changed it with his energy. And that's the thing. We, we got, you know, once when, once when Alex gets into better shape, you know, he hasn't played in, in a while either when he was with the other team. We're going to have three guys that do a little bit different and they're going to be good for us. And they all, are, they all understand they have to be ready and they're good. I mean, you're, you're, we probably have three great, like great teammates out of those three guys. They're there. And I've been on teams where the guy behind you or the, the guy behind the guy behind is not cheering and not celebrating the success of the guys in front of them. But those three guys I hear, sometimes I hear Rolo 
telling Mo some things. I'm like, did he just tell him that? I mean, he tells him things like he, he teaches them and Mo needs to be taught. He's a young basketball player that hasn't had a lot of minutes, but those three guys are going to really help each other. are going to help our team, you know, going down the line. I mean, we had a, uh, just an unfortunate injury with, with, with TB, but those three guys are really going to do it by committee. And I think they're going to help us win some games down the stretch. Hey Garrison, <coughs> can you, uh, was that the biggest steal of your life? And can you just take us through those final few seconds, depending the inbounds and even just watching everything that went on? <laughs> I mean, it was, yeah, it was, it was probably one of the biggest, you know, moments for sure in my, in my sports career. Um, you know, it, it all happened so, so quick. You know, I saw my, my main guy was Joe Harris and that I was guarding and I saw KD was kind of left alone and I don't know what he was doing. He turned around and the ball was right there. So I saw Russell on the, uh, on the wing and wide open. You gotta make the, gotta make the right play. And he had a big time shot, man. Big time shot by a big time player. And what, what is it like for you? I know you're a guy who like appreciates someone who plays with that kind of energy. What is it like for you to play alongside Russell when he's showing that kind of energy? Say that again, I couldn't hear you. Yeah, what, what is it like for you to play alongside a guy who plays with that kind of energy when he's dominating a game like Russell did tonight? I've always, I've always grown up loving his passion and loving watching him play. Um, his his competitiveness and his fire is really some of the you know the best fire and best competitiveness I've ever seen um, and and been able to play with. So it's 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 incredible to watch you know because I try to I try to bring you know somewhat of that same fire and just to watch him and his leadership with coming with that. I mean it's 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 awesome to to be able to experience and play with. David Aldrich. Hey Garrison, um, you were born in you were born in '96, right? Was. Do you remember anything about eight points in nine seconds with the Pacers and Reggie Miller? No. I don't. <laughs> Have you seen it? Have you ever seen it on YouTube? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> That's the closest thing that I can recall to to what you guys did tonight. But you you said you wanted to make the right play, but you were open too. So I'm just wondering, in that's in that situation, why was passing to Russ the right play? Well, I was I was falling out of bounds too when I when I caught the wall, um, and I had a guy closing out in Russell. I mean, he was wide open on a three. I mean, of course, it crossed my mind to shoot it, and it, you know, I don't, I definitely thought about it. But when you got a when you got an all star sitting on the wing wide open, I mean, you got to make the right play. You know? Right, and and you were here last year, and I just wonder. I know you guys from the win loss perspective did not have the season you won it last year, but did this game? feel more like the way you all played last year when you were really kind of wide open offensively? Uh, yeah, like, especially because I'm, I'm always on the second unit and uh, when I do get in and it, it definitely felt like it did a little bit last year because we had some great games with the second unit last year. Um, and it definitely felt more more free flowing. The spacing was was better and um, you know, was, we got we got a lot of guys on the like everybody fights, but we got a lot of guys on the second team that that play hard. I mean, Mo comes in and gave give us gave us a huge boost. You know, he plays yeah. super hard, and yeah. um, you know he's been out three weeks, so it's tough to come in and you know after being out three weeks, but he played great. You know, he, you couldn't ask for a better game from Mo. He brings that fire, so when you bring that fire, it's contagious to the whole team. Matt Paris. Hey Garrison, just curious, what did Russell say to you in that moment? Did he, was it just screaming or did, did he the, say anything? During the play? Yeah, yeah, after after hitting the shot and after the steal. I don't really know, to be honest with you. It happened so fast and everybody was yelling and I don't, I don't know, I just turned and looked, he was right there and I threw it to him. I don't really know if he was yelling at me or not. Then there was that stretch in the second quarter where you, Mo, and Ish kind of just, uh, settled the game, kind of helped you guys claw back in it. How, how important was that for you guys and, and what was clicking there? I mean, it was important because, you know, they got onto a, a big run early. Um, 
and you know it almost kind of felt like you know the past four or five games that we've had that we're you know kind of you know lowering our heads getting frustrated and you know us me and Mo we try to bring you know some sort of fire to that to that second unit and just playing hard because we're not guys that are going to go out and score 20 a game um and that's okay but when you when you bring a certain fire um I just feel like it it brings it it, it brings the whole team up and when you play as hard as you can and when you're you're fighting and stuff like that so you know just for us second unit guys to come in and play as hard as you can, we can you know it gives it gives the first I feel like the first unit guys another boost you know? And last question to Neil. Hey, Garrison, uh, early in the first quarter, you know, Scott had to go through a lot of timeouts. You guys were down 31-13. What was being said in those timeouts and those huddles to keep guys positive so that you guys could actually make a run eventually? Uh, Co Coach, man, was just saying just to keep fighting. Um, you know, it's hard, you know, the past couple, couple of times, uh, I've, or the last time I spoke, you know, I, I said that we cannot have that losing mentality. After losing four straight and then being down, what would you say, 31, 16, whatever it was. I mean, it's, it's hard not to snap into that, that losing mentality, but, you know, we're all professionals. And when you come in and play as hard as you can and, and try to turn that out, that was huge for us to get a, a little bit of run in the, in the second quarter because that set the tone, I think, for us the rest of the game. I mean, you know, NBA games are super long. You know, if we get down early, it doesn't mean we're going to lose. Um, we, did, we did a ton of possessions, especially with how we play and how they play. Our pace is pretty high, so there's going to be a ton of possessions, and we can't continue to get down on ourselves when we're down 15, 20 points because it's you never know what can happen, as you see tonight. Hey, Russ, could you just take us through that final uh, eight seconds and, and what that was like, uh, just that final sequence there? Um, <clears throat> Brad made a big – Big shot. Um, and defensively, we just we wanted to trap when we got a chance, and um, you know we was physical and uh, we got the steal. Garrison did a good job of um, being ready and alert, you know, keeping his feet in bounds. And then um, after that, um, you know, I just concentrated on making my shot, follow through, and, and knocking the shot down. And Scott was mentioning after the game that maybe now that you're a little older, that you're going about. Uh, tackling rehab and maybe in a smarter, more efficient way. It, it, have you noticed that at all? Have you done anything differently in terms of getting back from an injury? Uh, yeah, yeah. I just take my time. I don't rush. I um, mean, you know, old me, I probably would have kept playing and just kept playing and it would never got to where I needed to be. Um, and I, I want to make sure that I'm giving my team the best that I have. And um, I feel like I'm always, if I'm able to play, I'll, I'll play and leave it on the line regardless of um, the result and um, just smartly wanted to take some time to myself and rest mentally and obviously physically to get my body right and um, be able to come back to be able to help my team and put us in a position to, uh, to be a better team. Thank you. Ava. We're going to go to Fred. Russell, Garrison was talking about how he feeds off of your energy when you guys play together. He's not the first teammate of yours to say that, obviously. Are you conscious of that when teammates are responding to the energy you're giving to them? Great. That's, uh, to me, that's um, it's part of leadership um, on both sides. When I'm in a shitty mood, um, my teammates feed off that too. So that's, it's a part of my responsibility as a leader to make sure I bring it every single night. Um, and I take pride in doing that because I, I don't think that's something that everybody do around this league that in sports in general. Um, and that's something that I take pride in coming in every night, making sure I have my juice, my energy, so my teammates can feed off of it. Um, it gives us an opportunity to win a game. So you're, you're a person like the rest of us. You have, you have bad moods because of just things yeah. in life. What do you do on those days to make sure that it doesn't come through when you're playing? Oh, uh, you know, it, to me, it's very important to know, why I'm here, why I'm able to play and do the things I'm, I'm able to do. I'm, I'm thankful and um, I always give the glory to the men above for allowing me to do what I'm able to do every night. Um, but I, I don't take it for granted. I mean, I, I know a lot of people say it and talk about it, but I literally, you know, before the game, when I am get up from taking my pregame and I'm sleeping and I wake up, um, I just be like, you know, I don't take this game for granted. I don't take the opportunity to be able to come out and compete for granted because, you know, everybody not able to 
uh, to do what we're able to do and go on the big stage and play and compete and do something you love to do. And um, I truly don't take it for granted. And I try to cherish every moment um, I'm on the floor and leave it on the floor every time I can. David Aldridge. Russ, I know you, have, you haven't been healthy. When did you start to feel the leg coming back? Um, when I took my time off, David, I was able to, um, you know, take that two weeks off. And, you know, obviously our team wasn't back yet either. So that, that definitely allowed me a little more time and, um, to be able to get healthy and be able to move and attack and have my legs underneath me uh, to be able to play. So, you know, I'm happy and, and blessed to be able to go out and compete. And now we just got to make sure we use this momentum and go to the next one. And, and what did you what happened? What did you see happen in front of you after Brad splashed the first three? Uh, well, I saw the time score. Uh, just try to get a quick steal. Um, you know, in time like they try to get a quick steal and um, go for the win. At this time, we don't have nothing to lose. Is win or go home, and we need this win very badly. And uh, you know, I went for the win and went for the game. Ava. Russ, uh, my internet cut out, so apologies if you addressed this already, but uh, last game you spoke to us about how everything the team was going through was making you reevaluate your leadership style a little bit. And you were saying, maybe I need to go back and think about that. What does a win like this do for that type of confidence for your how you think about yourself as a, as a team leader? Um, it, it's big for me, um, just because I believe leadership shows out when you win and guys do well, guys are happy better about themselves, confident about their game and what they're doing. And um, that's what I look for, seeing teammates and seeing how happy they are for the next person. Um, that's a part of leadership. And that's something that I uh, truly cherish and embrace being in this position. And um, to be able to show that you're able to be a leader, you got to you gotta look at yourself first, look at yourself in the mirror and make sure I'm, I'm coming and bringing my game before I point and talk to anybody else. Does a night like tonight make you think like, whoa, okay, maybe I maybe I just need to slow down. Like it's not all <laughs> always on me when we're going through bad times or something like that uh, or no? You know what, <clears throat> it was just who I am. I, I, I'd rather take the onus and put it on my shoulders before I let my teammates do it and before I let anybody on this team uh, take it because um, I feel like um, just, I've been put in this position for a reason and I feel like I'm able to take the heat, take the pressure um, because that's just, who I am, and um, I don't mind doing that good or bad, as long as my teammates and the organization, the people around here feel good about themselves, uh, I'm okay with that. And last questions to Om. Hey Russ, I apologize if this was asked at the very beginning, but um, you've won much bigger games, but how, where does this finish rank in your career? And also with everything this team has been through in the last two weeks, and it was scary, um, how much did you guys just need something to feel good? <laughs> Man, it's, it was a crazy game. I've been obviously been in some crazy ones, but that is definitely up there just to finish is how it played out. But um, like you said, man, we definitely needed this win. Um, and we got to build from it. Uh, winning tonight and not coming the next game and being ready to play means nothing. So that's a good team over there in the locker room. And tonight we uh, came out and competed at a high level, and now we got to get ready for the next one. Brad, can you just take me through – what is going through your mind before you hit the deep three and then on that final play when uh, when Russ hits the three to put you guys up one? First place, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, it was a wild game, man. It was an unbelievable game. Uh, I was very mad I missed the pull, pullback on KD. I feel like I had a great shot. It was a great play call. I was able to get, get downhill and create some space and missed it, but down five, we just honestly, it just told me to push it and pull it. Like, I mean, that's all all we could have done in that situation or got a quick two. Uh, but I just shot it with confidence and, and let it go in those bottoms. And then sure enough, they made a crazy mistake on the inbound. Garrison played his ass off all night tonight. Just played hard, was in the right place, right time. He could have very well shot it too. We made an unselfish play and gave it to Russ. Russ is, he was unbelievable tonight on all levels. Uh, had his jumper going, getting in the post, uh, knocking down free throws. So he was he was everywhere tonight. You know, we, we needed that. And uh, that was beautiful to see. David? Brad, you know, there was, 
the, the hope this season was that you and Russ would be the catalyst for this team. And obviously, you know, Russ has not been 100%, and then you had half the team out. Um, how much did you need to see this tonight to have that happen in front of you? So you for you to make the shot and then for a teammate to make a play and for Russ to make a shot to win a game for you? It was huge. I mean, it, it wasn't something I needed to see, uh, per se, but I feel like, our effort and the way we played for a full 48 was great. You know, we got up to a little rocky start, uh, but, you know, we we overcame adversity and fought through it, and, you know, together. And it wasn't just one guy that won us a game or two guys. It was a collective effort from everybody. I think our bench came in and gave us a really big spark early on in the game. Uh, you know, so we it was it was a collective effort from everybody, man. It was it just felt good to get a win. You know, it, it's not a it's not a, you know, big altering change. Oh, man, we're, you know, we're right. Like, we still got a lot of work to do. We still got to get better. Still got to get back in the gym. Uh, but this is a good team we beat tonight. So we definitely feel good about it. Ava? Hey, Brad. Um, uh, kind of an uncharacteristic start from you in the first. What was going on there? And how did you turn it around? Obviously, you had, I think, 22 in the fourth. I don't know. Just a little bit more aggressive in the second half, I guess. Scott said over the weekend that on Friday, uh, I think he wanted to get you a little bit more rest in the third quarter because you were feeling banged up physically. Are you feeling good after this one? Yeah, I feel great. Last game, I had no energy. I had nothing for the guys. And I apologize. And I put that one on me. And tonight I had, I got my rest and I was very locked in and ready to go. Uh, but it was a collective effort. It wasn't just me. So. Uh, I'm definitely happy that we were able to get the win and, and row together and do it. Thanks, Brad. Brianna Holmes. Hey, Brad. Um, so Kyrie and Katie both described tonight's win for you all as desperate. Of course, every win, it, I mean, every game is a must win for you, but was there a different mentality tonight? Was like, we cannot lose this game. I mean, we try to have a mentality every night, uh, but you know, we we just competed. You know, we we don't we don't like losing. Nobody likes losing. You know, I damn sure don't. So we we just did everything we possibly could, and then our power stayed locked in and and did everything we were supposed to do. Man, uh, it's really hard to really just pinpoint one thing because uh, we have so much that we still need to get better at. Uh, but we were just locked in and accepted the challenge when we needed to. And was there a special message that you had for the team when you went back to the bench and you were talking to your teammates when you weren't on the floor? No, no. I mean, everybody was just encouraging the next man to stay in and stay together, uh, you know, continue to uplift one another and make the next play, uh, you know, next shots going in, whatever the case may be, you know. Uh, so just constant, just uplifting guys, making sure we're on the same page, you know, making sure we're, we're getting a stop and getting a rebound and doing everything we need to do to win. Matt. Hey, Brad. Uh, you know, you've obviously dealt with double teams before, and you're always going to trust your teammate to make the right play. But I'm curious, does this year feel any different for you when you have a guy like Russell Westbrook out there? Like, is there more relief when you are doubled? Or how does, or your other teammates as well, just how, how does that mood kind of change? Yeah, I mean, it, it makes it easier because you can't necessarily double me because Russ is an attacker. You know, uh, we can get him the ball and he can get in the paint in a heartbeat, you know, so. That, that plays in our favor. Then we have, when we have shooters out there on the floor with me too, it just makes it harder for teams to be able to do so. Uh, so when teams end up going to switching lineups, they end up playing into our favor a little bit. We're able to, you know, get matchups we want and attack the matchups. Uh, but, you know, for the most part, we just, we just hoop, man. We just hoop, have fun doing it. And last question to Ben Standing. Hey, Brad. Um, I was watching the uh, post game and Chris Miller was asking a question of basically with your, you, you weren't shooting as much early in the game. And obviously in most games, you're the one taking the most shots. And he was curious if you were doing that in part to have to almost on some level to have other guys step up because obviously for you guys to win, ultimately it can't just be on you offensively. Was there anything to that line of thinking? No, 
Uh, I think that's just kind of how the chips fell tonight. You know, uh, didn't get a lot of early ones, uh, a lot of looks early on in the game. And, you know, just stayed with it. And the second half was my half. So, you know, it's it's a long game. You know, you can't get can't get too high, too low. Uh, you know, just continue to chip away and uh, trust your teammates. You know, but it was definitely good to be able to see guys come back, get their rhythm back, get the flow. Ish played a remarkable game tonight. Him and Mo gave us great energy. So, you know, that was that was great to see. You know, one them being back healthy, uh, and then two them providing a the spark for us that we very much needed. And, and Scott said post game he uh, he was celebrating by having a white claw. What's your uh, what's your celebration going to be tonight? A what? Scott said he had a white claw. I'm going on my my wife and kids, man. We got more work to do. No celebration in the Bill household.